Randy Eikenberry, Sloan Dawson, uh, they're at a booth, uh, Mode Shift Omaha. Uh, you can find them online at modeshiftomaha.org. Uh, the transportation master plan's coming up. It is almost a three quarters of a billion dollar investment in our transportation infrastructure. Uh, and you know, here's some numbers, and this is why it all affects us, um, and why this is so important. You know, new street improvements in the city of Omaha cost between 10 and 12 million dollars a year. 80% of that's funded by the federal government, but 20% is funded by local governments. Right now we're building streets that need to be replaced uh, every 10 to 12 years. Based on our current budgets, that's not going to happen for 56 years. So our infrastructure, we can't sustain the infrastructure that we've built out. What the folks at Mode Shift Omaha are doing is incredibly important. Um, no matter how you get around, uh, it's going to affect your tax dollars. So please get over there uh, and, and find them online at modeshiftomaha.org. Coming up here in a minute, we got the Lenoma Mashers, uh, keeping the Caribbean vibe alive. Followed by uh, one of our sponsors, the board chairman, Rick Kalowski from the Natural Resources District. I want to give a big thanks to the Papio, Missouri Natural Resources District. One of our main sponsors, I think the main sponsor for Earth Day Omaha 2012. Also give a shout out to the City of Omaha and their Re-Energize program. Uh, and Eco Omaha, another program of theirs. And then uh, another big sponsor, big thanks to Green Plains Renewable Energy. The fourth largest ethanol producer based right here in Omaha. They were number seven on four or Fortune's fastest growing companies. Uh, those guys are pioneering all kinds of technology. They're uh, very deliberate about how efficient their processes are and using every piece of the ethanol process in some way. So coming up in a second, we got the Lenoma Mashers, followed by the chairman of the Natural Resources District. But first. As I think I saw a state senator crossing the area here, I think we got Senator Ashford around. Um, the Nebraska State Legislature, our own unicameral, which uh, man has found some legs here in the last couple of weeks, um, standing up for the legislative branch and uh, not letting the executive branch put him in a spot. But uh, they have made, officially made a resolution recognizing Earth Day on uh, Omaha on April 21st. So I want to read this legislative resolution, 614. Senators Mello, Conrad, Cook, Council, Har, Harms, Howard, Har with two R's, Langemeyer, McGill, Sullivan, and Wallman. Whereas Earth Day is April 22nd, 2012. And whereas Earth Day was founded by United States Senator Gaylord Nelson as an environmental teach-in held on April 22nd, 1970. And whereas Earth Day has evolved into the largest civic observance in the world, with more than one billion people participating in Earth Day activities, whereas the Earth Day Network works with over 22,000 partners in 192 countries to broaden, diversify, and mobilize the global environmental movement to encourage citizens to remember the importance of protecting and conserving our natural resources and environment. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the members of the 102nd Legislature of Nebraska, second session, that the legislature designates April 22nd as Earth Day in the state of Nebraska, that on this day, Nebraskans are encouraged to join the millions of other Earth Day participants in recycling, volunteering, and taking part in minimum waste and sustainable initiatives and that Nebraskans are also encouraged to continue to take part in activities that promote ecological sustainability in their communities year-round to ensure healthy environments for future generations. So that, that's the legislative resolution. It's official statewide. It is Earth Day. So welcome to Earth Day, Omaha 2012. Uh, on that note, I'd also like to kind of point out that the first environmental holiday started in Nebraska. Of course, we've all heard of Arbor Day, which was first celebrated uh, 140 years ago in 1872. And on that day, one million trees were planted. You wouldn't have recognized Nebraska back then because we didn't have nearly as many trees as we have now. Of course, uh, about 40 years later, the largest man-made forest, Halsey, uh, out by Chandron, was planted around in Nebraska. Um, 
you know, by the 1920s. So we've got a very long history here of husbanding our resources, uh, taking care of the environment. Um, you know, we started Earth Day in 18, or started Arbor Day in 1872. By the 1920s, each state in the United States had passed public laws that stipulated a certain day to be Arbor Day and Bird Day observance. So that eventually kind of evolved to where Arbor Day was on uh, April 20th uh, until Earth Day came along in 1970, uh, which took the 22nd. And I don't know, maybe about 15 years ago, Arbor Day kind of threw up their hands a little bit and they moved to the last Friday in April. So that's how Arbor Day got to the last Friday in April. And I like to think that without Arbor Day, we wouldn't have had so many successful Earth Days and, and quite a, a network going on there. Coming up now, we have the Lenoma Mashers. Uh, be right up here in just a second.